Network operators worldwide are making a transition from TDM to packet-based networks to handle the huge explosion in mobile broadband traffic that's hitting their networks. We sat down with experts from Huawei and Mobistar to talk about key trends and issues. Daniel, depending on the operator, we know that mobile broadband traffic is growing about 100% per year. and In some cases, it's even higher than that. When you look at the transition to IP RAN, are we actually seeing the ability for those operators to lower their capital and operational costs on an annual basis? Oh, historically, a lot of mobile operators have been leasing SDH capacity for backhauling their sites. This is actually not sustainable when we move into mobile broadband time. Uh, one of our customers in Indonesia told us if they continue to do so, they would have to pay uh, 100,000 US dollars per year, and that's every year for one site. So here we are looking at a business model change. They have to change from buying capacity to build their own capacity. Now, since you're building your own new backhaul infrastructure, why not use IP RAN, which is uh, um, future-proof and most uh, uh, comprehensive solution, not only for today's 3G, but also for your LTE backhaul. We are totally replacing the, our uh, legacy uh, access network uh, that was uh, mainly using SDH capacity uh, with a, a new uh, convergent network that is uh, MPLS, uh, that is using uh, some uh, access nodes, uh, that's, uh, some CPs that are MPLS capable, uh, some DSLAM and also uh, IP MPLS uh, PE uh, to collect uh, or, uh, or not be or to increase uh, the, the bandwidth. A lot of operators are saying IP backhaul is helping them save cost. But y if you look at it, one of the key concerns they have is what's happening on the OAM front. They're saying that, that the features are not just quite what they need to be. What's Huawei doing to address that issue? When we move from TDM backhaul to IP-based backhaul, a major challenge is the learning curve of the field engineers. Typically, they have a SDH background. They're used to the behavior of TDM network. TDM network is like infant baby. Um, it requires a lot of provisioning work, but it's very predictable. But network will grow up. So when you move to IEP, it's more like a teenager. Uh, it's hands off, but you know, it may run into trouble some, uh, from time to time. So what we're doing here is, well, on one side, we need to keep the self-governance virtue of the IP backhaul. But on the other side, we also want to visualize the behavior of the IP network. We already have implemented both MPRS-based and MPRS-TP-based OEM features in our solution. We could even do a hybrid OEM mechanism with uh, MPRS OEM in the aggregation section and then MPRS-TP in the access section. Uh, we have done that in some of the field deployment for China Unicom already. So what's your strategy for synchronization? Our, our strategy concerning uh, synchronization, for the moment, we are only using a legacy uh, mechanism to synchronize or not be, because it's not very easy to activate synchronous Ethernet, uh, because we need to upgrade every equipment, also the supplier we are using uh, for the back or uh, partner need to support this uh, protocol, and it's not uh, the case on every equipment we are using or uh, Ethernet provider. But in the, in the future, uh, we plan to activate this uh, protocol because we rely on a physical synchronization. Well, synchronization is critical to mobile broadband. Specifically, phase synchronization is not only needed for TDD-based uh, mobile broadband, it is also needed for advanced technologies in FDD-based technologies. So that's why Huawei has put a lot of investment to develop a very comprehensive 1588 version 2 based synchronization mechanism. We can deliver IEEE 5088 version 2 not only over fiber, but also even over DSL and GPON. This is in case some customers would rather use that to complement their mobile backhaul solutions. Daniel, there are some operators on the path for IP backhaul that are implementing layer 3 VPNs. As you know, with layer 3 VPNs, you have some risk of the broadcast storms happening there. What are you doing specifically at Huawei to address this issue of scaling with layer 3 VPNs in the network? Well, because there are much more RAN sites than DSLAM sites. So the challenge on the control plane of IP backhaul network is much bigger than traditional IP network scenarios. Uh, one of our customers complain a lot about this in their existing deployment. So we have created a new solution called hierarchical VPN. And this solution, 
your cell side gateway router will only need to care about its local neighbors rather than understanding the whole network uh, situation. This si simplifies the mobile backhaul network design significantly, and it also avoids a lot of unnecessary route flaps. So it's a very good solution for our customer.